Highland Valley. Welcome to The Journey. I'm Matt Taylor, Director of Youth Ministries. Tonight, we continue with the Summer of Songs. And don't forget to join us at 6.30 on Zoom as we continue the bridge to racial, racial unity. You can find that link on our website at hvumc.org. We hope to see you there. As we continue with online worship for an unknown amount of time, we are looking for ways for you to be more involved. We want you to be more of a part of the experience. One way we can all experience worship together is by creating a sacred space that unifies us. We invite you to set your altar at home. You can start with a piece of fabric or a placemat and add a candle, cross, and a Bible. Uh, we invite you to light a candle as we light altar candles here. This reminds us that Christ is with us no matter where we are physically. Will you pray with me? Holy God, as we prepare for worship, help us to remember that you are with us, that even though we can't be within the walls of the church, you are with us as we worship in our homes. Help us to not only find new ways to come together, but also to go out into the world to do your work for the glory of your name. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now for our scripture which is Psalm 8. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. From the lips of children and infants, you have ordained praise because of your enemies. To silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him? the son of man, that you care for him. You made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with the glory and honor. You made him ruler over the works of your hands. You put everything under his feet, all flocks and herds and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth.
Hey kids, tonight we're going to be singing If I Were a Butterfly. We've sang this before, but I want to remind you that there are some motions that you can do with this. So one thing you need to do is make a butterfly. And I kind of do this, but you can do this. So you need to be a butterfly. You need to be a fish that flips its tail and wiggles with glee. And we need to see an elephant that raises their trunk and a kangaroo. So when we get to those parts you can uh, do those motions with us. Good evening, everyone. I am Sharon Baral, Director of Music here at Highland Valley. The past few weeks, we have been exploring the origins of some of our favorite hymns. Today, I want to take a look at one of my favorite musicians, David, and his contributions to the Psalms. Scripture tells us music has been an integral part of worshiping God for thousands of years. Ephesians 5.19 tells us to speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing and make music in your hearts to the Lord. The Bible's most prolific songwriter, I would say, is David. 2 Samuel describes David as the sweet psalmist of Israel. He honed his musical skills while tending sheep, playing harp, and singing songs of praise to God. King Saul called for David many times to come and play for him when he was struggling. It says in 1 Samuel that David would take up his harp and play. Then relief would come to Saul, and he would feel better, and the evil spirit would leave him. The Psalms David wrote are evidence that he was a man after God's own heart. He demonstrated his gratefulness to God through his words, and also through his music. At the time, there was no musical notation, so we don't know what the music sounded like. We do know that he encouraged God's people to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Psalm 150 encourages worshipers to play instruments as part of the act of worship, saying, praise him with the sounding of the trumpet, Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dancing. Praise him with the strings and pipe. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Modern worship may have replaced the ancient stringed instruments with the guitar and perhaps the harp with the piano. Musical styles have evolved over time, but the act of worship remains the same. David also wrote many psalms of lament. These psalms are beautiful poems or hymns expressing human struggles. These prayers lay out a troubling situation to the Lord and make a request for his help. The psalms of lament are poetic hymns meant to be sung to God. They deal with issues that were and still are central to the life of faith for individual believers and the whole community of faith. They express intense emotions, 
real human struggles and the anguish of heart experienced by the people of Israel as they lived out their faith individually and corporately. The Psalms of David have been a source of inspiration to modern hymn writers. The lyrics to How Great Thou Art were written by Carl Boberg and translated by Stuart Hine, and they were based on Psalm 8. Boberg describes the experience that inspired the song, saying, It was that time of year when everything seemed to be in its richest coloring. The birds were singing in the trees and everywhere. It was very warm. A thunderstorm appeared on the horizon, and soon there was thunder and lightning. We had to hurry to shelter. But the storm was soon over, and the clear sky appeared. When I came home, I opened my window toward the sea. There evidently had been a funeral, and the bells were playing the tune of When Eternity's Clock Calls My Saved Soul to Its Sabbath Rest. That evening, I wrote the song, O Stora Gut. May the words of ancient and present hymn writers help us to continue to praise and worship Almighty God.
of prayer. As we take our worship, praise, and prayer into our daily lives, may our lives be sustained through the love of our Heavenly Father. May we feel the presence of our Savior walking beside us and know the power of the Spirit in both our actions and our words. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week.